are listening to Season 8 of the award-winning Home Ed Matters podcast. Brought to you from the West Midlands in the UK. We're just a regular family of five on a home education journey and we want to share our journey with you and encourage you on yours. So thanks for joining us and here's this week's episode. Well hi everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Season 8, eight. Episode, episode 2 of Home Ed Matters. My name's Luke. And my name is Eden. My name is Asa. My name is Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, we've got the whole family with us today. Apart from Mummy. Yeah. Well, um, she's out collecting people from the airport. Yep. Well. Yeah. Um, so, lots to talk about, as ever. Yes. We've just finished weeks five and six yep. yeah. of our curriculum. We have. How's everybody yeah. enjoying this year of learning so far? Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... I think a bit later on we'll talk about some of our groups and some trips you've all been on. Okie dokie. Yes. But what if we start with um, our... So each month we've got a different... Is it each month or each term we have a different co- a composer, artist and um, poet? Each term. Each term. Yeah. So can anybody remember who our composer study is this term? Ralph Vaughan oh. Williams. Okay. And um, what types of music has he done? The Lark Ascending. And, so, and, um, and everyone that has green in the name, I think I've gotten it. Green Sleeves? Yeah, Green Sleeves. Okay. And it's very joyous, like, kind of happy music, you know? Yeah. Okay, and what kind of, what period is he from? Um, He's from the, like, right World Wars. War period. Even though um, during the World Wars he was, like, technically too old to do it, um, but he had to do it anyway. Okay, yeah, so we, we're into the 20th century. Yes. And therefore our composer study and everything like that is all from the 20th century. Yes. Um, okay, Ralph Vaughan Williams. And then who's our artist? Charlie Chaplin. Ah, yeah. so we're, that's a bit different to normal. Yeah, we're like doing artwork like that is like inspired by Charlie Chaplin from like different artists. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was still an artist, of, wasn't he, really? He made yeah. just moving pictures rather than... Individual pictures? Yes. Yeah. Okay, um, so what kind of things have we done related to Charlie Chaplin then? Um, <laughs> we've, like, in the um, mornings we're reading a book. Um, well, like, on I think it's Monday mornings we read a book about Charlie Chaplin. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. And have we watched any Charlie Chaplin films recently? Um, not really. Not yet, but I think we're going to. Yeah, we do have a whole collection of his, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then how about the poet? Have we started um, that yet? Uh, not as much. We haven't done the poet as much. Yeah, okay. We've been doing wartime poets. Yes, we've yeah. been doing yeah. wartime poets. But uh, isn't our poet Wilfred Owen? He is, yeah, but we've yeah. been doing like a collection of wartime poets as uh, well, so okay. like Siegfried Sassoon and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, Siegfried Sassoon. I remember studying him at school. Yeah, and Wilfred Owen did a very famous poem. Yeah. Um, was it Wilfred Owen that did Dulce at Decorum Est? Do you know that one? Not that one. Um, I don't know. Oh, ah, well, that's something to look forward to. Yeah. But yeah, war poetry is all a bit sad sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes it can be like, kind of... Positive? When the war's over. Yeah. You know. Like the relief. <laughs> like yeah. the bear. Yeah. yeah. Well, so we've been reading lots of different books then about the First World War, haven't we? So, yeah. Belle, what, what are some of your favourite? Um... Holiday. No, but what, what are your favourite World War books that you've been reading? Stubby. Stubby? And what's that about? Um, a little dog who likes one of the soldiers. Yeah, and is it a true story? Yeah. So Stubby was a dog in the trenches, was he? Yes. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, our dog's just come over. <laughs> um, and one of our read-alouds as a family... Is a Michael Morpurgo one, I think, isn't it? Yes, yes so we're doing War Horse. As wow, well. yeah, and that's yeah. actually uh, they made a film of it and a play of it. Did you know that? I did not know that. That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Did someone have to act as a horse? <laughs> well, it was special puppets. They did amazing oh, puppets. That is so cool. Um, yes. So, where are we up to in the story of War Horse? Um, he's like. Oh, but Daddy might give spoilers for people. Well, it's a very famous book. I mean, just more broadly, has uh, you know, it's about a boy that goes to war, 
No. A horse. A horse that goes to war. <laughs> well, okay, well, so has, where's, where is the horse in his journey at the moment? Um, he's um, being captured by the Germans. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. That's ever so sad. Yeah. Yes. Um, wow, so we've got our composer, artist and poet yes. that we change every term. We've mm-hmm. got lots of read-alouds yeah. Um, yeah. and we're themed, you know, for um, the 20th century. And then... Yes. Well, early got 20th century. Early 20th century. Oh. And then we're also doing some... Um, ge- the geography things that we do, we've been following the Book of Marvels. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we're also doing about India this year. Yeah, time. so... Have you watched um, some great rail journeys in India? Yeah, we have, yeah. yeah. So um, on Thursdays, we do, like, a bit about India and stuff. And um, there's, like, these videos that are about the great ra- railway um, okay. in India. But um, we've watched them all now. Yeah, and Asha, what, uh, what stands out in your mind from some of those rail journey videos? Um, I don't know. What's the most interesting bit? Um, probably the bunch of trains in it. Yeah, the, are they big old steam trains? Um, yeah. kind of. Yeah, okay. And then some of our other themes this term, uh, we're doing anatomy. <gasps> yes, yeah. we're doing anatomy. So what are some of the different ways we're studying anatomy? Um, so we're doing lots of different human body books and we've got these massive human body posters which we're going to draw stuff Yeah, on. we talked about that in the last episode. So what, yeah. what have we drawn, added to them since our last episode? Um, we haven't added anything to them since our last episode because we've been doing stuff like hair and um, skin. Yeah. And, and boobies. Since we... <laughs> no, yeah. like um, <laughs> and actually, well, speaking of skin, so Mirabelle and Asha... You had some amazing colouring that you did the other morning when you came down as part of your kind of yeah. bookwork in the morning. Yeah, what 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 that. were you colouring in? Um I think it was um like a close up of someone's arm. A close up of the skin the and the hair yeah. and the other bits there. Cool. And you both yeah. did such careful colouring of that. Yeah. Um wow, that's really good. And then um are you for the natural world, we are doing a book called The Sea Around Us. We are, yes. yes. Is that, are well, we all I'm, doing that? No, I'm just doing that Is one. Is that new, Eden? But okay. um, we are doing like a bit about the sea as well. Yeah, okay. Yes. And what, what are your um, reflections on... <laughs> shh, shh, Mirabelle, shush. Um, what are your reflections on the sea around us? So that's by Rachel Carson, who's a famous yeah. nature author. So I'm I'm really I'm quite enjoying it. Um, even though, like it, even though it's like an adult book, I'm like enjoying it because it's all about the sea and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. you find it quite inspiring. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, and then some. So some of our other regular <laughs> things that we do every month, because um, Ambleside have a hymn of the month. Can anybody yeah. remember what our hymn of the month is he this did, month? He he, how, how does that go? Um, yeah, do you, and so when, when do you listen to the hymn of the month? In the mornings. When we're yeah. doing our breakfast. Yes. When you're having your breakfast, breakfast playlist. So what kind of other things do we have on our breakfast playlist? Um, so we have a folk song of the month and then sometimes mummy ad, mummy adds vid- videos on depending on what we're doing to, okay. like that day. So um, for the book of Marvels, um, we were studying like, um, like, well, um, like this the dead sea yeah. so we had videos about the dead sea yeah and uh, what's our folk song at the moment i can't remember the, the name scottish of it one. the scottish one this is the bonnie boat yeah speed bonnie boat, boat. like a bird on the wing yeah on the sailor's cry now that's called the sky boat song yeah and um can you remember who they're talking about Charlie, Charlie, Bonnie, King Bonnie, Charlie. Prince Charlie, yeah, Charles Stewart, who they wanted to be, Charlie. who wanted to be King of Scotland, didn't they? Yeah. Charlie, yeah. So the idea of the hymn of the month and the folk song of the month is that you sing it as well. You know, so it's yeah. not just a a dry study, but you sing along. And yeah. often it's around the time I take our dog Bear for a lap in the morning, <laughs> yeah. and I come back in, and yeah. you're belting out the hymn of the month or yeah. the thing. And sometimes we're dancing really. Much. <laughs> Like, yeah. Massively. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, so lots that we love doing. Um, yes. And we always, in the show notes uh, or on our website, homeedmatters.co.uk, I always put links to 
um, my YouTube channel because I've been recording many of the Ambleside hymns of the month, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. And what's the different instrument that I added this t- this month for He Leadeth Me? The organ. Yeah. Yeah. That yes. sounds quite fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, Ben's brought his ball. Oh, yeah, Ben yeah. wants to play. Right, we're going to take a short break and then we'll be back and talking about some of our some of the trips we've been out on and um, some new clubs that people are doing. So, Bye. back in a minute. Bye. You're listening to the Home End Matters podcast. Yeah, right, we're back. Um, hope you had a nice cup of tea, yeah. or biscuit, <laughs> or coffee. Or something else. Or something else. Now, we're going to start talking about some of the groups that we're doing. And Mirabel, you have got three new different things you've been doing, haven't you? Yeah. So, what is the first one you've been doing that involves water? <laughs> You've been having some swimming lessons, haven't you? Yeah. Um, what have you enjoyed so much so far about swimming lessons? Um, having my new friend. You made a new friend, yeah. That's really good. So you've had one lesson so far. And what was the best bit? Um, swimming. Yeah, great. Um, and then, Eden, you are back at your... Drama! Which is one of your favourite things. Yes, I'm Um, so excited about it. And what are you starting to rehearse soon? Yeah, we're going to start rehearsing our play Wendy and Peter Pan. Um, And I'm really excited about it because I'm playing Wendy. And and Mirabelle, you've you've started going to your own special drama group, haven't you? What's it called? Um, Drama Minis. Drama Workshop Minis. Now, I can't hear you. You've put Sleepy Bunny over your mouth. Um, now, you played some games at Drama Workshop, didn't you? What, what, was, what was one of the games that you played? Cat and Mouse. Cat and Mouse? Um, and was that a running around type game? And then, what, was there a game about your name? What, you're nodding for those listening. Um, and you, did you have to like, make up something silly for your name? Yeah. Are you looking forward to going back again? Yeah, Drama Workshop Minis, that's really good. Um, And then you and Asha both went to a new group as well. Um, Asha, what was that, Ash? Um, Gym. Great. So, new gym class. This is for home educators. Um, And you've done gym before. So, what was different about this group? Um, There are more players on the trampolines more. So, so you had, okay, trampolining on this one. Yes. And are there many children there? Um, There's about maybe... Sixteen, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, and how how have you been divided? Um, last time, um, it was um boys and girls, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And what was the so? What was your most funnest part of doing the trampolining? Um, learning the things on it. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. good. Um, what was your best bit about Jim Mirabel? Um. Um. Swinging. Swinging, yeah. On the bars. Oh, that's so good on the bars. Yeah, brilliant. So, swimming and drama and gym, they're really good. And then, Eden, um, because you're secondary level now, aren't you? Yes, I am. So, you've got a new course starting. Yeah, I've got my creative writing course starting um, uh, next week. Yeah, and and so you've got a special reading list for that. So what are some of the yeah. books that you're 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 going to be doing? Um, so I've got Grim Tales, um, which is like the Grimm's Brothers tales. But uh, um, written who who's it written by? Um, I can't remember, but is it it's Philip like, Pullman? Yeah, I think it's yeah. So he's a well-known author. Yeah. And um, what other ones have you got? Um, um, and I've got ones like um, the Norse mythology one. By, and yeah, that's that's Neil Gaiman's interpretation. Yeah. yeah. And I've got the nose, and then I've also got ones about like Shakespeare plays and stuff. Oh, okay, great. And, like there's this book called A Winter Book, or I'm th- it might be The Winter Book. I'm not sure. So well, looking yeah. forward to doing all of that. So <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited. About um, it. I guess you read them progressively as you go through the course. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and it's an online Charlotte Mason course. It is, yes. I'm very excited for starting it. And you've also still been carrying on with netball. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I went to netball this morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not, you know, not every week uh, you're in the position that you 
enjoy the most, are you? Yeah, not every week. But what? how have you been developing your netball skills in the meantime? Um, so I've been, like, practising doing shots in the garden. Yeah. Um, at the, like, um, netball post. And I've been, um, like, throwing the ball at this tree stump in my garden to see how, like, hard I can throw the ball. Like, as, as practising yeah. kind of, you know, fast movement and yes. passing. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how do you think your... Um, goal scoring skills have been developing through that um I think quite a lot because like last week I was like not doing very well at like scoring goals and um, so I, I've like been practicing a lot this week um so, and like I've been practicing like for like 15 minutes a day or more mm. um and at, at uh, scoring yeah and no practice is ever wasted so yeah and at the very least it's been good to get be outside yes in the dry weather. Yeah. What was the funny thing that happened to our netball net this this week? Oh, so it's been really hot this week, right? And then when I was um, scoring some goals, it basically broke. And it I managed to... Disintegrated, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, and it was like coming off and I managed to like score so many goals. That it, and there were like such force that it actually came off. I know, I had to order a new one. It was so, yeah. so weird. Um, now, we've been able to go out on some trips again recently. Um, and actually, we've had... A super super hot few days so where did we go where did you all go because I was working to cool off on a super hot day can you remember um, Ash oh yeah and the kid meant to splash pad yeah and what's the best bit about the splash pad there um probably getting lovely and cold yeah was it busy um it was quite busy but it was mostly with like you know, younger than Mirabel children, because you know it's it was um and like a Tuesday, so all of the schools were in school. So I was probably the oldest person like in the splash pad. There um, are yeah, there are yeah. often big cheers in around the home educated community when schools go back. Yeah, there um, is. But isn't it often the way that all of a sudden there's amazing weather when yeah, everybody's back at school? It is, yeah. And um, I what I really liked about the splash pad was like not just getting cool, but seeing the um like beautiful water patterns as they fell. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked that. And then all then you all went on a special trip to one of our favourite local places recently. Yeah. Um. Begins with a were. <laughs> What's it called, Mirabel? <laughs> Not, not Wednesday Club, although we love Wednesday Club. <laughs> it's a place with a maze. <laughs> Mirabelle's whispering. Where was the place you went this week? Um, Warwick Castle. Yeah. And what's new at Warwick Castle since we last went, which actually wasn't all that long ago? What's new there, Ash? Um, they've expanded the maze. <gasps> and and it's trial. so good. Like, yeah. seriously, it's amazing. I, literally... Amazing. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Oh, yeah. I didn't know where This is that. this is two two episodes in a row we've been doing mazes because in our last episode we were in the maze maze. Yes. So yeah. how how is it different to how it was last time? Um they've made like a table football bit Aww. and they've also made a balcony area. Oh wow. Bear wants me to throw the ball. And did you, um, so because quite a few bits of Warwick Castle have been shut the last few times, but what was open this time? And um, like the top of the tower, so we climbed up these really, really steep stairs. Like onto the battlements. Yeah, to get up to the top of the, like the very top of the tower, and it was really oh. scary because, um, like the steps were like, because it was built in like 1316, they were like really, really narrow, um, and so you had to step on the wide edge, but it was safe, obviously, um, but it was really cool and also the maze was amazing the maze was amazing <laughs> yeah yeah so loads of things that we've been doing over the last few weeks and then yeah. um i have finally got some time off work yeah. and uh yeah. so we are going to spend a few days in london which Yay. i'm so excited about so if you yeah. Um, want to listen back we did a spe- we did two i think episodes uh, from when we visited london um, a few seasons ago, actually, probably maybe it wasn't yeah, last it was season because um, we haven't been able to go down. So yeah. we haven't been back for a while. So we're looking forward to that, aren't we? Yes, yeah. we really are. <laughs> yeah. But I think we should probably wrap up there, shouldn't we? Yeah. Okay. So as ever, thanks for listening in. Thank you. Thank All the you. details to get in touch with us are coming up. And we love hearing from you, don't we? Yeah, we do. Please get in touch because, you know, it's nice to connect with people. Um, yeah. And in the meantime, you can follow us on Instagram and all those kind of places. Yeah. And uh, I hope you are, um, your, your journey, your homer journey is going really well. And uh, we would love to hear how that is going. 
um, and if you've been inspired by anything that we've done. So yeah. otherwise, we will see you in a few weeks' time. Yes. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Home Ed Matters podcast. We love hearing from you, so email us to homeedmatters at gmail.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Home Ed Matters and visit our website at www.homeedmatters.co.uk. If you're enjoying the show, please leave us a review wherever you listen, like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher or Spotify. Thanks for joining us and enjoy your home ed journey this week. They say absence makes the heart grow fond. Well, I've grown quite fond of you. Some people may think you're strange, but I think I'm strange too. It's raining outside. And it's raining inside too I want to go home A place where I'm known And where I know you Walk familiar streets